Hey, this is Jason Ferris with FresYes.com and FresYes Realty, and I have turned the camera around <laughs> on our famous interviewer, Kendra Gilbert. Kendra, would it surprise you to know that you have interviewed over 100 people for FresYes.com? Um, no, sounds about right. <laughs> Of those hundred, actually, I counted 106 uh -huh. actual people you That's interviewed. A lot. Isn't that crazy? That's a lot, yeah. We're so it's blessed to have had you do all this, and I hope the community has really enjoyed it. And uh, below this video, I'm going to highlight some of my personal favorites. So, okay. Now, when you get a chance to read and watch this video, uh, check those out. Um, of those 106 or so, is there one or two maybe that stood out? Um, yeah, let me think. I loved the first one I did. It was my good friend Nikki's son and we were talking to him about his first day of kindergarten. And I just think it was like, interviewing kids is so fun because they say, you know, the darndest things as we all heard and they're just really honest about, you know, their day. So I think talking to him was super fun and, you know, it's a little kid that I've seen grow up so it was nice to have him be the first one. Um, since then, gosh, I'm just like trying to cycle through all of them. Um, I loved interviewing Ashley Ritchie because she was just, she's such a crack up. Um, she angers Fox News. I think she's kind of taken a step back a little bit these days, but she's a crack up and I loved sharing with her. That was one of my favorites. Yeah, I liked sharing kind of more of her personality than maybe people see um, on the air. And it was a firefighter. Yep, um, um, Cody. Cody. Cody, great guy. I mean, his story was amazing. The fact that he knows sign language and that he ended up having, I think, a niece and nephew who were born deaf and was able to use those skills to talk to them and then to also, you know, help people in need um, who couldn't communicate. Awesome. awesome. So, yeah. Yeah. Dinner with Friends, mm -hmm. a little passion project for yours. Tell me a little bit about that. For, we'll tell the audience a little bit about it for those yeah. who uh, maybe are not aware of it. Yeah. Um, essentially, it was... Uh, an, a magazine that I wanted to start to highlight the Fresno community through something that was really familiar to everybody, which is getting together with friends for dinner. So dinner with friends. Um, that's why that was kind of the center of it. But it was really just a way to, um, you know, highlight people who are, you know, doing great things in the community, whether it be owning a business, creating art, um, writing, anything that they, you know, were doing in the Fresno community that was, um, you know, a benefit to this area. So I started that, um, it's kind of morphed since, you know, I originally came up with the idea and now we're online, hoping to eventually get to a print version somewhere along the lines. And you said online, where can people find that online? Uh, DWFmagazine.com. DWFmagazine.com. Yep, it's in with friends. We'll be sure to link that up. Yeah. There. Awesome. Um, but yeah, it's just been a really great way. I mean, I feel like it's kind of twofold in that I get to tell the stories of people who are doing great things here and I get to inform myself about those things in the process and learn more about the community. So it'll change a little bit, um, you know, over the next year or so. I don't kind of know where it's going, but it's up online. It's going to be active um, in some form or another. And I'm just thankful for, you know, the people I've gotten to, to know and who have really supported me. So that kind of lets the cat a little bit out of the bag <laughs> here because you're not sure where that's going to lead. So. Let's 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 let it out. Okay. So what's next for Kendra? Kendra is moving to Seattle. I hate that I just referred to myself in the third person <laughs> um, a little bit. Um, I got an opportunity to work at a news station up there, and um, it took me about a month to fully come to terms with it, just because I had you know done so many things that I was tied to here that I really you know felt passionately about. Um, but Seattle was just kind of that one city that I always wanted to give a shot at. I wanted to live there. I wanted to see if I could um, make a home for myself in that one city particularly. So when that came up, um, I had to weigh my options really carefully and eventually I came down on the side of giving it a shot. So, um, but that doesn't mean that Dinner with Friends and my ties here are severed. Um, this definitely is always going to be my home and um, I hope to keep the website alive and maybe do some correspondence via email and keep in touch with the photographers and writers I, I know here and have them write stuff for it and keep it bittersweet keep it going. for all of us in the yeah world. oh well likewise for me as all right well. let's liven it up a little bit <laughs> uh liven it up a little bit with some quick kind of uh quick and dirty questions that i thought i'd put together okay so people get the chance to meet 
a side of Kindred that they may not know. Okay. Since you're always the one doing the videos. Yes. So first thing that comes to mind when I say the question, cheapest beer in your fridge right now? Well, I only have two bottles of beer in my fridge and they're expensive bottles of Delirium, um, which is a Belgian beer that I liked. All right, cheapest beer ever in your fridge? Probably PBR. PBR, baby. Yeah. <laughs> well, all right, so what is the favorite beer? It's called Delirium Tremens. I'm probably saying that terribly. But it's a Belgian beer. They have like a little pink elephant as their logo. And I just, I used to drink it at a bar in LA when I lived there and I love it. All right. Yeah. Favorite color crayon? Um, blue? Favorite 90s jam? Oh my God, geez. Uh, my first CD was Boys to Men and I think that was in the 90s, so. Look, everyone's like humming it now. Yeah, Boys like, to Men. Yep, ABC, DVD. Yep. Last thing you watched on TV? Um, I don't have cable in my apartment, so I usually just watch DVDs, and the last thing I watched was an episode of Happy Endings. What's it's, it? It's no longer on the air. I have, like, my friend loaned me seasons one and two. It's like a sitcom about six 30-something friends. It's just kind of wacky and zany and was on the air for three seasons. And All right, all right. Yeah. Spider-Man versus Batman. Who wins? Batman. How many pennies... Would it take to fill this entire room? I was like, please don't make me do math. Um, 50 million. 50 million pennies? No. <laughs> okay, a penguin walks into the room with a sombrero on and a pair of sunglasses. What does he say? Um, I don't know. Hola? <laughs> Last question. Who plays Kendra in the movie of your life? Oh, geez. Realistically, or who do I want to play me in the story of my life? Both. Uh, you set yourself up for that. I don't know. I mean, I don't want people to think I'm like full of myself. I would say maybe like a Drew Barrymore. A Drew Barrymore. I would be happy with that. That and, seems pretty appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. And I think she'd probably say hola for the penguin question as well. <laughs> so, Are you going to ask her? Do you know her? I don't know her. <laughs> But maybe we'll, Drew, we're tagging you on this post. Yeah. And maybe we can get you to comment and reach out and let us know if uh, <laughs> you'd play Kendra in the story of her life. Kendra, thank you um, for being a part of FreshYes.com. Well, look, I'm getting all teary. Oh. This is why I'm on this side of the camera. <laughs> um, it's meant a lot to us here and our, a lot to our community. So thank you very much and good luck in Seattle. Well, thank you to you. I mean, since I've got the floor here, um, I'm so glad that I got the job that day, like two years ago, gosh, now, um, you've really helped me better understand the place that I grew up. Um, you know, I knew it as a kid growing up in Clovis and I kind of, you know, took it for granted. So thank you for allowing me to get out there and meet people that are doing great things here and get to know the community better and you as well. Our pleasure. All right. This is Kendra.